to find the top Amazon keywords for a niche or a market or multiple ASINs, a group of products. Why is this important? How can it benefit you? We've been talking uh, until now about looking up individual products in Cerebro, which is absolutely a great method. And I'll, a lot of tools can do that. But now we're taking it to another level where you are uh, analyzing multiple products. Well, how this can help you is, you know, you might, if you just look at one product, like the top seller in a niche and understand their keywords, their top keywords, that's valuable information, right? But do you think that that one product is the only one making sales on keywords? No. Another product might have discovered a different keyword that this first product doesn't know about. And so if you analyze that product, um, you know, you might want to know what keywords they're ranking for. Maybe you want to know what's the most important keywords overall in the niche. Where are most of the top competitors all getting their sales from because they're all ranked high? What are the keywords where maybe only a couple competitors really know about it? So these are kind of under the radar keywords that might have less competition. All of these uh, re- uh, are reasons on why you should analyze multiple products at the same time. So let's just, again, talk about how you can find the top keywords, the top keywords for a group of products or the most relevant keywords. Well, I actually like to start this outside of Cerebro. I mean, you you could just go ahead and copy ASINs one by one directly into Cerebro. I actually like going to Amazon itself and then looking at the products uh, that way. So here, I just search for coffin shelf here in Amazon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Helium 10 X-Ray on this page. Now, once I do that, the top products are going to come up. Now, here is something very important. I'm going to select from X-Ray right on Amazon, the keywords that I want to look at in Cerebro. But what what's important to do is Cerebro multi ASIN search is built on comparing your product to your competitors. So if you have a product right here on this page, you want to make sure to select it first. All right. So I'm going to select my product, my coffin shelf first. Now, if you don't have a product, maybe you're just doing keyword research in a brand new niche. I like choosing a product way from the bottom of the page. That's not one of the top sellers as my baseline product. And the reason is, is because I don't want to exclude it from the search results. All right. So the way that Cerebro is built is to compare your product to competitor products, but you can kind of use this mini hack if you don't have your own product just by selecting a random product here from the bottom of the page and then selecting your coffin shelf. So I can choose up to like maybe 10 or even 20 of the top coffin shelves. Let me go ahead and choose, uh, you know, some of the the top ones that I see um, here on this page. And then once I've selected them, I'm going to go ahead and hit the button run Cerebro and it's going to open up Cerebro in uh, another tab. And it's now going to show me my rank versus all of the other competitor ranks in Cerebro. Uh, Or if I didn't have my product as the first product, it's actually going to show me just the uh, baseline product versus all of the competitor products. But it's really the competitor products that I'm going to be focused on. So now if I just want to find out what the top keywords are, as you can see here, it found over 3000 keywords that any one of those uh, competitors that I looked at are ranking for. All right. That's valuable, but you know, I really want to focus on the top keywords. There's one button you can do right here at the very top of the page. If I just hit the button top keywords, it actually goes in and does some filters for me so that I can see what some of the top keywords are. And you could see it filtered that, you know, uh, 3000 keywords all the way down to five keywords. What is this based on? It just threw in some, uh, some filters that make sure to show me what are the keywords that more than a few of more than just one or two of these uh, products that I chose are ranking for. And they're all kind of ranking high. The competitor rank average is between one and 40. That's what it did. So maybe this five keywords is not enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, uh, you know, show me the 300 and up search volume. Maybe the competitor rank average is between one and 50 and at least three ranking competitors are all ranking for it. And then if I go ahead and apply those filters, uh, more keywords might show up. And now, as you can see, 22 filtered keywords show up. The column that I like to look at here 
is the competitor performance score. This can be viewed as, you know, some people call this relevancy. I don't like calling it a relevancy because it, it could just be a fluke. But if you see a 10 out of 10 competitor performance score, that means that a lot of these products, you know, I think I had five or six products that I entered in here, a lot, if not all of them are all ranking for it and they are all ranking relatively high. That's what this competitor rank average is. Look at this, this keyword, has competitor rank average of 7.6. That means the five products that were ranking for this keyword, if I average where they're showing up for, it's page one, position seven, right? So that's, that's pretty crazy. If I wanted to know exactly where they were ranking for, I just put my mouse over relative rank and then it's, it shows why that competitor rank average is so high. Look at this. It says one is number one, one is number three, one is number five. Uh, number 13, 15, and 16. You take that uh, on average and it goes to a 7.6. All right, so this is a great way to see what are the top keywords in the niche. That means all of the top sellers, if that's what I chose when I was looking in Amazon, if they're all ranking highly for a certain keyword, it's gonna show up here on this top keyword list. This is a great way to get your best keywords for your Amazon listing. Mm -hmm.